Welcome to Sabbath in 60. There's a misunderstanding about Romans chapter 14, verse 5 and 6 that I want to clear up. There Paul is simply say, stating that there are those in Rome who are esteeming one day, and then there are others who are esteeming another day. Now, I don't know who those people were, but what Paul doesn't tell us is whether or not these people were right in esteeming these days. I'd rather just follow the example of Paul himself, or better yet, the example of Christ. These are people who actually followed and kept the seventh day Sabbath of God and were refreshed in God. But the point is here in Romans 14 is to be fully convinced in your mind, to follow the Word of God, and to keep an entire day, not just three hours in the morning as we go to church, but entire day set aside for the worship of God. I know that when we do, we will be still and know that He is God.